Hi guys, um, today another video about the FGR. Um, now it would be my new my new process. I will keep uh, reminding you to uh, subscribe to the channel. I still have a very little uh, subscriber with a lot of viewers, so it would be nice if you could do that for me. Thank you very much. All right, uh, today I want to talk about safety. When I mean safety, security, it's more about uh, fifth then uh, security on the road um, so for me there is a, in fact three three type of uh, uh, places where you where you can have your motorbike park it's your home place could be a garage could be a driveway whatever it's your home place it's your workplace eventually if you're going to work with your motorbike and in between it's also all sort of places where you're going with your bike for you know, a little shopping or, uh, you know, for a trip with your friends and so. You park the motorbike somewhere, then you don't know. So it's a different strategy, I would say, for all of this. Okay, home place. At home, I would uh, suggest something. It's uh, having a fixed point on the ground. So it could be a, a, a metal uh, bit, which is... Uh, 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 fix in a concrete on the ground and then you can attach from that your motorbike and it's a good way to to lock it because it's locked to something so eventually you know uh, it could be possible to to carry a motorbike on a on a couple of skateboard and take it away not like that even locked uh, not on something let's say you've got the lock on your wheel uh, and the lock isn't attached to something else it's still possible to roll the motorbike on 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 some skateboard or what whatever things with wheels and it, with the lock and f and remove the lock later so to avoid that having a, a fixed point on the ground it's a good it's a good option so that's one two um having a big d lock u lock big chain whatever system you want to use uh, two things I would recommend for that. So I've got one here just to show you. It's a big one. Um, heavy, very strong chain, very hard to cut. It took me um, a full metal disc to cut one of that. And it took me 10, 10, 12 minutes. And everything was super hot and I wasn't able to do it quicker than that. So it's important to have a strong uh, things this one in fact stay in my home um, and I carry another one in the motorbike so this way when I'm coming lock the motorbike on the ground and and the next morning if I leave I can't forget the, the, the lock behind and going somewhere with no lock so instead this one stay home I've got another one in in the motorbike that's one point. For that, for D-Log, U-Log, whatever system you use, be very careful where you lock your motorbike. And if you do it on a spoke um, or, I don't know, if you lock your, your motorbike here, always be careful to not lock the space where you've got the valve. Because if somebody, or even you, let's say you forgot the, the lock on the motorbike, you start the engine, you try to go what happened obviously you will not break mm, I, hopefully you will not break anything on a motorbike but the valve if the the chain chop the valve that's it you're not going nowhere you lose all the, your, your air on your motorbike and you can't fix it on a spot so it's really important to avoid the space where you've got the valve take any other space on the wheel eventually even move the motorbike a little bit to get a better spot to lock the motorbike so that's one thing uh, second thing I've got uh, this sort of disc block uh, I like that I put some flashy uh, uh, things on it because more it would be visible on a motorbike less it would be uh, uh, interesting for for an eventual fifth because they will see the lock from distance and realize oh okay it's another things to remove so eventually they could go to another motorbike because yours seems to be more safe than another one so this is one thing to 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 consider if you park your motorbike and there is other motorbikes there 
um, yeah, there is no reason why they would go to the more complicated one. So this is a good system. So it's a um, quite strong, heavy uh, piece of metal. And this is doubled with a, a built-in alarm, which is handy. So you lock it on the motorbike and eventually if somebody try to tilt, try to move the motorbike, the alarm turn on. So turn off, sorry. So it's, it's, uh, it's, a, good, uh, it's a good system. I like it. It's simple. Obviously, it's not bulletproof. You can imagine they can break this, no problem whatsoever. But again, it's another step. You can have this on the front wheel and you can have a, a big lock on the rear wheel, for instance. So that's one thing I, I do recommend. It's not super expensive. If you can manage to get a, a full alarm on your motorbike, it's maybe another option. You could, you could go with that. But I think this is, this is a step in between and I like it. And um, so it's not too big. Uh, I carry mine on the seat, so it's always with me. So it's a good thing to have uh, for the price. So at home, I also use this kind of lock, uh, D lock or U lock, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's in fact uh, a safety one. Um, they are very expensive in uh, in Europe. I don't know how much that costs, but uh, I think I pay around almost three hundred. 250 to 300 euro for that um, but it's it's quite strong it's not bulletproof nothing is bulletproof but it's a good one it's a good quality um, almost impossible to copy the key as well and there is no space anywhere to put some tool so need to be cut and um, this is made of steel so it's quite strong um, so this is what I use for the front wheel and uh, this is uh, something you can carry in uh, in uh, the pannier or in your if you want but i prefer to keep this one for home it makes me more comfortable to to keep this one uh, and uh, on the road i use the other one and uh, uh, the the alarm disc block as well all right um so in safety uh, another thing that I would recommend when you park your motorbike always park your bike um, in a fair distance from uh, let's say a car car park for instance in my example I park my motorbike near a shopping center and it's far away from the road and the car park uh, it means then if somebody eventually want to come with a van to you know carry the motorbike then they have to do quite some distances like 30 meters or something like that. It's not going to happen, I believe. Because, you know, it's easy these days to put a couple of skateboard, uh, skip the motorbike on them and roll the bike until you're close to a van and put the motorbike in a van. But as I said, the way I do it, it's locked somewhere not that accessible for other vehicles than motorbike. On a pavement uh, place so I do recommend to not put your bike in a quiet place like some people think oh it's better I would put my motorbike there it's quiet no no quiet mean danger try to put a, your, your motorbike in somewhere where you've got people around it uh, it would take eventually some time to, to, to remove the lock and such on your motorbike so it's not going to happen in the middle of you know plenty of people around it so that's one other thing to consider where you park your motorbike. Now, as I said, in between the, the step between home or work, there is where you park your motorbike when you're going with some friend uh, for breakfast or whatever, or you do a trip, and you don't necessarily know where you are and what the safety necessary around it. So what I could suggest if you have some a top case and pioneer like mine, sometimes people think, oh, it's easy to you carry your gears, your helmet and such. The reality is it's maybe full of other stuff. So when you're coming out, uh, get out of your motorbike, you still have your helmet and everything with you. So what you can you do, there is some, some lock who come around eventually the, the handle of your motorbike and can lock an helmet so you can put one helmet here and the other one here and they are locked on the motorbike itself so it's a good option 
um, it's a good option and uh, it's not super expensive it's not bulletproof obviously but as soon as you've got something attached as I said if you've got another motorbike nearby and the person have nothing attached on this one I beat this is the one we will be uh, in trouble and not yours try to remember that um, so when you lock your vehicle and time to time have a look if your ignition your um, example of um, key hole here for the saddle uh, lock or even pannier just check time to time if nothing happened if they have been forced if you see some mark like a screwdriver or whatsoever it means somebody tried to open them so that's something to to consider and having a look time to time to know what happened with your bike because you could leave your motorbike near your work for instance and somebody try every day maybe to get in uh, we never know so it's good to have a good look time to time uh in my case i've got this uh, glove box here i leave nothing personal in there so but yeah i do suggest to not leave uh, your wallet or whatever because it's very easy to access this sort of um, glove compartment so even with an alarm on a motorbike most of the case you can open the glove compartment without uh, knocking the alarm uh, off so all right i hope this could help and uh, yes be careful on the road and remember to subscribe. See you later, guys.